uh, after the Edinburgh game. Amongst that squad, there must be uh, real confidence. Yeah, I mean, we we needed the we needed the result and a performance against Edinburgh, and we and we got it in the end. Um, after a few results, we weren't particularly proud of. So, um, yeah, it's another chance for us to to step up against a really good team and, and test ourselves. And you know, hopefully, we can build on some of those things which we put into place against Edinburgh, which hadn't really been going our way for a few weeks before. Uh, but we know we're in for a tough test against a strong Leinster team. Yeah, absolutely. It's always a tough test uh, at the RDS. And that Edinburgh game, you kick your goals, um, you had a very tidy game. Um, has it been a bit frustrating a season for you, though? Because you've not played as much as you would have liked, I'm sure, because of various reasons. Yeah, I mean, uh, I was I was out for the first the first two with with a bit of a niggle I had over the summer, and then the Ulster game, which we obviously had a good win as well, managed to fracture my rib. So that was um, it wasn't ideal, let's say, um, but it's feeling good now, and it felt good against it against Edinburgh. So it's these things happen. You, you played, you know, for as long as I have, you know that these things happen, and they're usually when you unexpect they're unexpected. So um, it's just a case of doing everything I can from a medical and a physio point of view that I get back as soon as I can and, and then contribute when I'm given an opportunity. Yeah, you're experienced enough to know uh, know your body well by now. Um, Josh Thomas um, slotted in a ten for a bit when you were out. Um, what do you make of him and have you got like a almost a mentoring role with him to, to help him help his progress along? Um, yeah, he's obviously a kid with a lot of potential. Um, I wouldn't say there's a there's a direct mentorship going on. He's got a lot of experience around him um, with the coaching staff as well. And you look like we've got Brock here, who's obviously played in the same position, which um, is a help. And I know how valuable it is as a young player to have experienced players helping you out. So whenever I can help him and give him some pointers, I definitely will do. But he's um, he's a talented kid on his own on his own part. So. I think he's fitted in pretty well. Yeah, yeah, definitely he played uh, played well in the few few games I've seen him. Yeah. Um, what what's your situation with your contract, Stephen? Are you um, hoping to play on after this season? Is that the plan for you? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing really to report at the moment. There's things sometimes take time, but my my feeling is that I feel able to carry on and I want to carry on. So. Um, that's that's my personal situation, but the, as regards what's what's happening, there's nothing to report currently. So I can't really, I can't really give you any more than yeah, I want to play. Yeah, fair enough, absolutely. Um, cool. That's everything. I'll let Mark take over. Perfect. Thank, thank you. you, Steve. How are you uh, actually enjoying your time at the Ospreys then? Yeah, good. It's been I've been really enjoying it since I since my first day here. Um, I think I've spoken about this before that I felt like I had a bit of a purpose coming in and Gareth was injured last year and I sort of had to take a bit of a, a lead role uh, with leading the team with the rest of the sort of experienced players and yeah there's a good group of boys here all, all working towards improving, all working towards getting this region to where it feels like it could be um, and I'm enjoying my rugby. Where, where do you think the team is in terms of its development? Um, I think we've taken taken steps since Toby came in, but I still think the the good thing from what I look at is that I, I feel like we're not anywhere near our potential. We've had some good results, but we've you know we've not been fully satisfied with what we're putting out on the pitch, which is a really good sign. And I'm, I'm sure every team sort of says that, but. I do um, from the talent we've got and the young players coming through. I think there's, there's, uh, you know, there's good signs for the future. Yeah, I don't want to embarrass you or anything, but the Ospreys—they always seem to win when you uh, when you're playing. Is it just a coincidence, or is it that your 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 style fits the the, the team style? And yeah, well, what are your thoughts on that? You've had a good run, haven't you? I think. Yeah, I, I don't know to be honest. It's probably ask ask the coaches that they probably shed some light on that. But um, no, I think um, you know it's not like we've won every game I've played in. I certainly remember losing some. So 
Um, I just try and contribute when I can and try and do what the team needs. And if I can do that and it and it leads to a, a win, then albeit it's um, but it's not a one man show. It's this is you know there's more than fifteen people and there's twenty three effort. There's the there's the non twenty three who contribute through the week and. Like I said recently, we've probably been a little bit inconsistent with some of our performances, which meant we didn't get the result. But against Edinburgh, we did it for a longer period of time and we were able to come on the outside of that. So if I can contribute that with whatever it is, if I am you know, have to kick some goals to win the game or whether I have to manage the game well, then that's my job. Um, and all I can do is, is focus on doing that and hopefully it will help the team. I was reading the other day that you were saying that with goal kicking, over the years, perhaps you don't need to practice as much as you used to practice. I think I read the quote that you know some weeks you you, you only practice just just once, really. Yeah, it, it's it's more of a feel thing, really. I think I can only do that now because of the work I put in in the earlier years, um, and kind of getting to know my body, getting to know how I work, and when I can get to that groove and. I've been a young player who's kicking, you know, for an hour, an hour and a half every day after training, and you end up getting into a bit of a rut, or I did, and I kind of worked out from a personal point of view that wasn't necessarily good for me. Um, so I think once you understand your technique and what you need to do, the quicker you can do that on a daily basis, get into that zone, the better. Um, it worked out, this was a few years ago when I was at Northampton, I had a a knee injury which was bugging me which meant I could only really kick on a Friday before a weekend um, and I didn't really notice any drop off in my performance so I thought oh maybe there's something in that and with getting a little bit older you need to put more emphasis on looking after your body as well so it's a bit of a feel thing. So sometimes what you only practice just once a week? Yeah I mean it depends it depends on how the week's fo um scheduled with training days and you know which day off we have and when the game is uh, but if for example Monday and Tuesday are heavy training days um, I, I kind of get more benefit out of I'll do some kicking but it won't necessarily be kicking at goal it'll be little bits of punting it'll be restarts and then I'll have other stuff to do in terms of like prehab and things which I get or recovery stuff which I get more benefit from so that when I do kick later in the week, I'm fresh and I can get exactly what I need out of it. Steve, long term, do you fancy moving to coaching? Yeah, that's my initial thought at the moment. Uh, like I said before, I still feel like I can contribute on the playing field, so I want to play. Uh, but I've certainly got an eye on that in the future. Um, so I'm, I'm currently doing my level three coaching badge at the moment. So it's it's certainly something on the on the horizon for me, hopefully. But as a player, obviously, experience still matters and it's crucial to a side. Yeah, it is. Um, and I think it's certainly in when you're playing in the 10 role, I've, I've, I've been a young player and I've, I've come from a completely different code. So I know the value of experience and having people around you which can which can help. So, um, yeah, if I can, if I, my experience and my sort of relationship with other people who are leading the team can can help the team and on the whole then that's what i'm trying to do brilliant steve hope it goes well as we get now. thank you very much thank you cheers man. steve you're gonna have a difficult week next week wales england is always a difficult week but you're in the wrong camp mate. <laughs> or, have we, or have we adopted you and you've become uh, red to the core <laughs> oh yeah it's a difficult one isn't it it's um I'm sure I'm going to get asked that question a, a bit next week, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, shall we?